the two of us at the same time. The same evening also. And for that I'm truly grateful. Um, it's difficult to say goodbye to the people normally. And I told Miss Aces, I didn't even write a speech, but then she said, ah, we're talking that. <laughs> so excuse me if I mingle things here because I'm going to take whatever memory I can capture. And if I have forgotten something, a memory or someone, please forgive me, but you also meant a lot to me. It's not always um, easy to remember everything. But I remember starting at Hookskin in 2009. Um, Mr. Smith was my HUD. I really learned a lot from him. Ms. Sikambara, uh, Ms. Wendy, I used to laugh. You know, Wendy, even while she was speaking, you know, Wendy, I'm not like that. She can't believe that to me, I'm not like that to me. I we used to run to her for every advice. I truly learned a lot from her also. The two of them groomed me. They did. And as a young teacher then, I really went up. I, until I got a job at Silkhive, I went there as a licensed teacher. But I would say that that was also another learning curve for me. And I came back as a HOD, which I didn't expect. And all thanks to the people that have groomed me, the people that have advised me, the colleagues that I had um, then during that time. Ms. Somonia was also one of them which was there. She was a colleague. I remember we started off at a bad foot. <laughs> Later we became friends. We even have common interests. <laughs> and when I came to Hooks in 2015, I met a lot of new people, um, new colleagues. Um, every one of you which I hadn't encountered with was a special person to me. Mm -hmm. You all um, had a remarkable, everyone is unique, but something about book skin people, there is something so special about it. I never had an encounter with someone that I would stand head on and, and just argue with the person.